lately I have been into, of course, those cool documentaries or those series that we see on TV about animals in Africa and, and wanting to get up close to them. Well, you can. And that is by heading out to Out of Africa. And that's where we find Stacy Goon. And Stacy, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Okay, what do we have here? Because I, I know I've been pronouncing the name wrong, but they're capybaras, right? These are capybaras or capybara. It's whatever you would have, what, you know, tomato, tomato. <laughs> yeah, these are our capybaras, brook and bubbles here. So we have uh, <laughs> Miss, looks like Miss Brooke is taking a roll in the pool, <laughs> yeah. cooling off, and bubbles is getting a nice, refreshing drink in here. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, okay. these are just babies. Oh my goodness. But how big do they get then? So these guys are probably going to reach a little over 100 pounds. Most capybaras are going to be 100 to 120 pounds. Uh, the largest female ever found was 200 pounds. Oh my goodness. So they can get quite large. They're the largest rodent in the world. Wow. And where do we find, do we find them here in Phoenix in the Arizona area? No, you're not going to find them out in the wild here in Arizona. You're going to find these guys in South America. You're going to find them uh, anywhere where there's an abundance of water. So you're going to find them along rivers and large lakes and even estuary type situations. So you can find them uh, all over kind of freshwater areas where there's an abundance of water and places and things for them to eat. So, so all right, and so they are South America. So they are rodents, but are they? I heard yeah. they're kind of connected to guinea pigs almost is that right yeah so they are in the order rodentia in the family cavidae so they're in the guinea pig family of rodents if Got that makes sense perfect and what do they eat these guys are herbivores. They're mostly going to be eating water plants and grasses. They'll dive down to the bottoms of lakes and rivers to eat the grasses that grow there, but they'll also browse on things uh, that grow along the bank as well. And I'm noticing, that it, and do we call it fur or hair, but it seems like it's very prickly. I mean, that's interesting. It, yeah, so I would call it, I guess, I guess hair, but uh, yeah, it is prickly. If you want to know what they feel like, go get your bristle broom at home and pet that, because that's what it feels like. <laughs> uh, it's very thick and coarse, and it is more sparsely, it's not a super thick coat because they live in tropical areas, but it's like this because they can dry off really, really quickly with that thicker hair. The water just falls off of it. So, oh my goodness, and so now I see they're eating a little bit here, which is really nice. And, and they're so eating some lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is great because this is an opportunity, especially right now, to get up there and see these animals up close a little bit. But we got to remind them, you're in the cage, you're trained to be in there. Uh, do you ever bring them out for people to actually see in person? Yeah, yeah, we do bring these guys out for our creature feature show at 1130. Uh, and they come out quite often. We don't bring them out every single day, but they do come out really very often uh, for our creature feature show where people can learn all about them. And hopefully when they are older and are more used to people they that they aren't, that they don't know, they'll be maybe pettable to the public as well. We also will do a three o'clock Wonders of Wildlife show uh, on certain occasions. And we call it Cappy Splash. So we'll do, uh, we'll bring them into our large Tiger Splash arena and they'll go swim in in the big Tiger Splash pool. Oh my God, that's so cool. Um, I, I have to, I have to bring this up, but it looks like you, we have an audience behind you. What, who is that behind you? Oh, those are our <laughs> raccoons. Uh, those are the raccoons behind us. We have Rocket and Poppy back there. And they are both uh, rescue raccoons. Hi, Poppy. Are you coming over to say hi? <laughs> hi, Poppy. So this is Poppy. She was a rescued raccoon uh, from somebody who had her as a pet. Uh, very good intentions, but you can't have them in, in, as a pet in Arizona. Rocket, the, the big gentleman in the back there, there. He, uh, <laughs> this guy, uh, we got Rocket from a facility that was doing some reorganization and uh, yeah, so yeah. he needed a different place to, to be. They didn't have the, the quite the time for him. So he and Poppy 
are our best friends now. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. I, just, I saw him back there. You like you can't, you know. So this is really cool, Stacy, to see these up close and a great time to head up to out of Africa to learn out about the new, Absolutely. the new, this new guest, I guess say, or, or new, uh, yeah, new guest. Everybody who's up there, which is really nice yeah. to see. So uh, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, what is the website for us to uh, check out and get tickets? And is the zip line going too right now? Yeah, the zip line's going, and to get tickets for park admission or any of our upgrades, uh, you're going to go to, is it outofafricapark.com? There it is. Out of Africa. Outofafricapark.com. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> She's like, cut. No. I'm you really got good at my job. <laughs> I know. You got it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, oh, really, another question for you really quick. I know during COVID, it yeah. was a drive through Is it still drive through and yes. walk through or just or walk through? It is. It is just walk through now, no drive through now. Got it. Uh, so it's just walk through, and uh, so you can see all of the spaces that we have, and go up to all the enclosures that that you're able to. Uh, so versus versus the drive through, you're a little bit limited on what we could offer, but now full offering walk through. Uh, so please don't drive your vehicle in, in the park. <laughs> no, I like that. Stacy's awesome. She's great. Stacy, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, again, we got information on AZTV.com about out of Africa and, uh, and checking them out. And, of course, looks like we have some new cute animals coming up here, too. So, all right.